Actually, the confrontation uh, began three years ago, but we won't go back that far. The evacuations uh, took place last night. People were asked to leave their homes surrounding the MOVE compound by 10 last night, Larry. At 5.30 this morning, warrants were to be served on the MOVE members. 20 minutes later, gunfire erupted. Sam Board Company, they just up command. The Blue Dawn, a special unit of police, positioned themselves to serve warrants on MOVE members. But just 20 minutes later, about 5.50 this morning, the shooting started. You hear the fire, Steve? I mean, they're, they're really going at it now. It's, uh, it's automatic weapons. Uh, it's, uh, at this point, the people are starting to scatter at this, uh, this side. I don't think that we are in any real danger on our side, but uh, there's no way of telling at this point. People are starting to panic. Uh, they're starting to run. A policeman taking a, a, an armed position. The sporadic fire lasted for about an hour and 20 minutes. However, when the first official word came down, there were still no reports of injury. Some of these homes just start burning. You're telling me that the homes on the other side of Osage Avenue may be on fire? That's correct. There's just white smoke coming from several uh, roofs of the homes on the other side of Osage. Any efforts to contain those small places before they get out of control? No. The, uh, most of the, um, the water is being aimed at the homes on the uh, roof side. Okay, and, and how many how many fire trucks are there in the area that you can see right now? Of course, you can't see 62nd Street. We understand that. Right, Larry. I cannot see any fire trucks at all. I can see our, our, you know, the water shooting up at the, uh, at the frames. I've just been advised that we have new videotape of uh, the episode that apparently ended, we think ended, the uh, move situation tonight, the dropping of an incendiary device. And let's take a careful look at this 527 p.m. State Police helicopter drops it. There is the explosion. As you can see, a very dramatic explosion that occurs 30 seconds and really rips into the move compound. There you see the bunker, which soon will go up in flames. And that was the explosion close up. Now, if there's anybody there standing there, it's obvious they couldn't survive that explosion. Mine's more. He's live in the newsroom right now. Bill? Well, Larry, the first sign of an adult member of MOVE came tonight after police removed Ramona Africa from the house on Osage Street. She was taken to Misericordia Hospital in West Philadelphia, where she refused treatment for second-degree burn. Then police took her to police headquarters, where homicide detectives are questioning her right now. Ramona Africa was one of four people named today in an arrest warrant charging them with terroristic threats, possessing an explosive, criminal conspiracy, riot, disorderly conduct, plus harassment. Police say they expect to arraign Ramona Africa on those charges sometime tonight, and we'll have an update later on in the newscast with Lori Yepchensky, who's down in the roundhouse, to give us the latest on that.